That's not a pro camera. The body isn't designed with a pro. And no nothing. pro would ever use that. Camera. It's not a serious camera. The body's too small. The only pro camera is a 1DX. What were you thinking selling your 1DX? Well, this is an enthusiast camera. What were you best. thinking? This camera's for amateur. It only has a single card. No pro would ever use that camera. Hmm. Is the Canon EOS R a professional camera? Let's talk about that today. I'm Raphael, and welcome to the channel. Over the last little bit, I've seen lots of discussions asking if the Canon EOS R is a professional camera. Now, this is just my opinion, but the short answer by definition is no. And yes, is it the first camera I would grab to go on a pro shoot? No. Have I used it on a pro shoot? Yes. A few months ago, I made a video about how I switched from the 1DX to the EOS R. I talked about how I was using it more than the 1DX and how I really liked the quality of the photos, especially the video. Well, I ended up selling my 1DX because I wasn't using it. And also because I was planning to upgrade to the 1DX Mark III and even that shifted and I'm leaning more towards the EOS R5 when it's time to upgrade. Now, does the Canon EOS R fit the criteria of a pro camera? Well, that depends on who's asking. Let's just run through the specs. Full frame sensor, check. Pro resolution, yes. Dual card slot, no. Pro lenses, yes. Battery life, expandable. Pro format, yes. Weather sealed, yes. For video, raw, no. True 4K, no. But most professional delivery formats are still HD in Rec. 709. Some people argue that it's not great for sports or wildlife, but that's like using a hammer when you need a wrench. On any pro job sites, there are multiple tools that are all considered pro at varying levels. Listen, it comes down to what your definition of pro is. Have professionals used this camera in professional settings? Yes. Would it be the first camera they choose? Probably not. Would they capture equally amazing imagery with it? Absolutely. Let's break this down a little further. The first big thing is no dual card slots. This is the biggest argument against the EOS R. Let's examine this. Back in 2004, the first EOS camera with dual card slots, the Professional 1D Mark II, was launched. Media cards back then had a way smaller capacity, so having the extra memory accessible without changing cards was really important. So the biggest benefit to having two card slots in the camera was simply doubling the shooting capacity, not for redundancy. So one camera only 15 years ago had this. Before that, pros used film. There was no dual film slots. And just so we're clear, even for the video side, Reds and Alexas have only one card slot on them and they film the biggest features on the planet. And in terms of quality, Steven Soderbergh shot Unsane on an iPhone. Danny Boyle shot 28 Days Later with a Canon XL1 on DV tapes. GoPros were used to film some portions of Peter Jackson's The Hobbit. Would anyone consider those three not to be professionals making professional quality content? In the hands of a skilled photographer, any camera is capable of producing images that can grace magazine covers. For instance, Jerry Cole is a Northern Ireland professional photographer who is now creating images using just his iPhone. These fine art iPhone images have received much praise and have been winning awards. Professional means someone who is making a living through their work. This has no implication about skill or quality. In terms of gear, professional equipment is gear designed for rugged use and offers a bevy of features that your regular hobbyist might not ever want or need. If you're someone who's making a living taking photos and your cameras cannot be ever allowed to fail, then you buy the top tier professional body. If you need performance, then you pay for it. This is something that really gets to me. The idea that someone is not a professional until they have pro gear and I know that I've been guilty of this thinking early on. This allure and lie that you are not a professional until you use what the pros use. This is backwards thinking. This puts the focus on the wrong improvements. Improving your craft and your skill will make you way more professional than the type of pro camera that you have. So don't be fooled when someone tells you that your camera isn't pro enough or that you're too young to be a pro. They probably don't know what they're talking about. And don't even get me started about software. So let's recap. Is the Canon EOS R a professional camera? Yes, yes it is. By definition it is. Are there higher tier pro cameras? Of course there are. Professional means professional grade, high durability, high standard of quality, crazy feature set, and full control. And the EOS R checks all those boxes. Professionals often use amateur cameras. 
Hand a professional an enthusiast camera and you'll get professional results. Hand an amateur a professional camera and you'll get amateur results. Learn the fundamentals of the craft, hone your skills, invest in upgrading you, and you'll make any camera professional. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what makes a professional grade camera in your opinion. What are the must haves in any piece of gear for you? What are the deal breakers? What is your threshold? Anyways guys, that's it. As always, thanks for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. I'm Rafael, I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.